Hey guys, Chicago Injury Lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the topic of, my doctor told me I have a torn meniscus. What can I expect? What should I expect? How is it going to go? Um, so, if you have a torn meniscus, it means it's a knee injury. You probably know that because it's, if you're watching this video, that's where you have pain. It's in your knee. So the knee is actually like a really complex joint and basically it's where your upper leg meets your lower leg and it's, you know, it bends really just one way. It's not supposed to bend to the, to the left or the right or forward. It's only spo supposed to allow your lower leg to go backwards. But what happens in an accident is if your foot is planted, for example, we see this in rear end car accidents a lot. If your foot is planted and you've got some weight on a foot and you get rear ended, it makes your lower body move forward and your your I'm sorry, it makes your upper body and your upper leg move forward a little bit or side to side a little bit, but your lower leg is planted and where does all that force go? It goes right into the knee joint. And um, usually you don't tear a meniscus from a blow to the knee. Like so if you if somebody punches your knee or you have something hit your knee real hard, that'll often cause your kneecap to move or it'll cause like swelling and inflammation and then over time because there's swelling in that joint it can cause wear and tear and a tear in the meniscus um, or like a twisting injury will tear a meniscus so what is a meniscus well a meniscus is just like a membrane that is like it it basically allows your upper leg and your lower leg to move smoothly like that like if this is the knee joint it lets it move smoothly and if there's imagine if there was like a rough piece of something in here like you had a nice piece of like uh, saran wrap and then you put a piece of aluminum foil in there and we did this well every time these surfaces touch the, the, the piece with the aluminum foil it would scrape and it would grind and it's going to make the knee joint wear out right so that's what a torn meniscus is. It's like a rough part or a torn part that like scrapes every time you move your knee, right? Now there are very serious meniscus tears and then there's very minor meniscus tears. There are meniscus tears that you had before your accident that are made symptomatic and then there are meniscus tears that happen that cause the, that are caused by the actual crash usually in a twisting injury right if there's some sort of side to side impact or a twisting injury from a front or rear impact or something like that you also see a lot of torn meniscus in falls because what happens when somebody falls they like shift their weight like if one leg slides out the other leg twists awkwardly and if it, if you get a twist it's super easy to get a torn meniscus. Um, the symptoms of a torn meniscus can go everywhere from really no symptoms at all or really minor symptoms that you barely notice all the way through really debil debilitating pain where it hurts to walk, it hurts to move, it feels weird when you, you know, when you move your leg or you put weight on it, right? can stop you from being able to go to work or, or walk around, right? So what is the sort of treatment that you can get from a torn meniscus? Well, this is the big thing. So for a minor meniscus, they will give you, you know, medication, anti-inflammatories, often, you know, Tylenol, but at a prescription strength, or there's other medications that they can do. And they will just see if, if the, the scraping has happened just because there's swelling in the knee joint. When you hurt any part of your body, it swells up. Now, sometimes you can see swelling, but even if you don't see the swelling, if there's an injured part of your body, there's swelling on the inside. So if your knee joint is swollen, it means there's no less space for the joint to move, right? And if you have a torn meniscus and swelling, you're gonna feel lots of symptoms and pain and scraping and just a weird sensation when you move your leg and walk. But if the sw once the swelling goes down, it might be that the meniscus isn't doing anything. It isn't hurting anything, depending on where it's at, right? Uh, you actually have several different meniscus in your knee, but I don't wanna go into those. The fact that you have several different areas in your knee, different menis 
menisci, I guess, in your knee because I don't have a, a diagram for you to, to show you right now, but maybe I'll do a video in the future uh, if you're interested in that. Anyway, um, I digress. So sometimes they'll give you therapy and anti-inflammatories and see if the swelling goes down. And then they'll give you some kind of, uh, you know, a, a CT scan or an MRI to see what's going on in the knee. And if they show, if, if, if it shows a major tear, then they're not going to give you therapy because if it's a major tear, they're going to cut off your therapy. They don't want the therapy to be scraping your knee joint under load, right? Like if you're doing like a leg exercise and you've got scraping in your joint, they don't want to make it worse, right? So that's when the, so the most common way to fix a meniscus is an arthroscopic surgery. And an arthic, arthroscopic surgery isn't like what we maybe think about where you're on the operating table and they put you under and they cut your chest open or stuff like that. Arthroscopic surgery is like they make three little holes and they got a camera in there and they, t you know, they basically have like a camera, uh, like a grabber thing and then a knife all on the all on the top of tiny little like tubes that go in the three holes and so the camera visualizes what they're doing and then they use the little handle and the knife to like to cut off and shave and reshape the meniscus to make it smooth again well why do they want to make it smooth again well once your torn meniscus or damaged meniscus is smooth again it's not going to scrape in your knee and in theory it's going to reduce your pain and it's going to reduce your you know your problems now if you have a very 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 serious knee injury they might have to remove a meniscus or even all the way up to a knee replacement but thankfully those levels of injury the seriousness of those injuries is pretty rare you really have to have a very serious serious uh, situation in your knee that involves more parts than just the torn meniscus for you to get have to do a, a total knee replacement however it does happen um, it is sometimes necessary so um, you know this is like so many other injuries like a neck or a back injury or any other injury to any part of your body at the beginning you don't know how serious it's going to be which is why getting in to see a doctor right away is a really smart move. If you've got knee pain, you might have a torn meniscus, okay? So it's a good idea to get into a doctor. It's a good idea to get into an orthopedic doctor who can screen your knee to find out what's going on in there. And like it's called a clinical examination. There's a series of orthopedic tests that they teach orthopedic doctors and certain other kinds of doctors to do to give them an idea of whether there's a torn meniscus or if it's just a knee sprain, right? Or even like, maybe it's not a torn meniscus, maybe it's some ligaments in the knee that are strained or torn. But they can tell a lot from a clinical exam, but the gold, stan the gold standard to see what's going on in there is usually a CT scan or an MRI, right? But they don't wanna just, everyone with a sore knee, they don't wanna send them out for those tests because they're expensive. So. They'll do the clinical exam first and figure it out, and then you just go from there. The treatment is like, if they don't think it's a torn meniscus, they're going to give you anti-inflammatories, painkillers, and they're going to give you physical therapy to, like, flush out the area, bring more blood into the area to help heal, and, you know, then give you a status after eight weeks or six weeks or 12 weeks of therapy to see how you're doing, and if you're improving, They'll continue it until you get better, and then if there's a problem, then um, they'll go from there. You know, you, you'll graduate to getting a CT or an MRI. Another thing that they do before surgery, before an arthroscopic surgery, I forgot to mention, is injections. So they can inject fluid into your knee that lubricates the joint if there's swelling. So the stuff that they inject makes the swelling go down, and it also lubricates the knee joint so you have way less pain and sometimes just a series of a couple or three of those injections makes the pain go away it's like the little it's the little crutch to help your body to heal that you needed so 
anyway, um, that is all I can think about to tell you about a meniscus, other than to tell you that if you have a knee injury, talking to a lawyer and getting a lawyer on your side is by far the best thing you can do, right? You can't put off medical treatment, but you definitely should have a lawyer on your side. So if you or, if you or somebody you know has a knee injury or really any kind of injury, please consider giving me a call. I give free consultations, 100% free, no obligation, and you can call my phone number anytime, night or day. It's 312-500-4500, 312-500-4500. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a like. If you really want to help me out, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a five-star review on Google. I'll leave the link down below in the description. You just cut and paste that into a browser, click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit. Five seconds for you, but it means the world to me. It really helps me out in this competitive market. Also, if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I have great tools on my website that are free for you. One is the case cash calculator. It gives you an idea of what your settlement value of your case might be. Literally takes 15 seconds and it's free. No lawyer to talk to, right on my website. Link below in the description. I also have the good case calculator. It's another tool that takes 10 or 15 seconds to do. Real easy, written in plain English. Again, 100% free, no obligation. Link in the description, check it out. It might help you out, gives you an idea about whether you have a good case or you might have a case with some challenges and problems in it. So hope that information helps you. Hope these tools help you. If I can be of assistance, even if you just have a question and you want to call, you can always leave it in the comments section below, or you can, of course, just call 312-500-4500. So hope you and your family are well. Enjoy this beautiful day and take care.